So in our last episode, I reached all soft cap gear. And so now in this episodes and episodes going beyond, I'm going to try to go even further beyond soft cap gear. And in this first video, we're going to be discussing how I got the Ted Ogre ring that was featured in a video I made a while ago. I'm just going to explain it to you guys how I got it. So first things first, I did manage to get a Tri Ogre for free from that Tri Accessory event. It's pretty fucking lucky, not gonna lie. I actually didn't get a single Tri Accessory except for the Ogre Ring. So I was pretty, I was pretty content with that to be honest. I, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too mad about that. However, once I actually received the Tri Ogre Ring, I had a debate in my head on what to do next. I had two options. I could sell the Tri Ogre Ring for an easy 1.8 bill, which would have been a nice amount of silver to come across, and then maybe sell my Kudum that I had at the time, a Tet Kudum, and save up a little bit more and buy myself a Tet Accessory, which was around 4 bill at the time due to the event. But you know, I decided, fuck it, you know, if I get a Ted Ogre, I'm going to snowball so hard, I'm going to be able to hit 261 AP with ease, and uh, that will give me, obviously, a lot of AP, which will allow me to grind much faster, and then I'll be able to snowball, so I said, fuck it, you know, I got the Ogre for free, might as well just go for it, you know, fuck it, what's the worst that could happen, you know, what, what, what could possibly go wrong, you know, like, there's nothing that could go wrong, if I enhance this Tri Ogre, I'm sure everything will work out just fine absolutely there's gonna be no problems at all just you wait and see stupid fucking piece of shit fucking game fucking hate this dumbass fucking game only it's only game all right so you may be thinking hero it's not that bad you said it yourself it was a free try ogre you really didn't lose anything but you know what i went full tilt after that and I, and I tried to enhance my own gear, which I would never recommend doing. I always say make up backups, but I said, fuck it. I didn't care. I wanted that Ted Ogre, so I hit it again. All right, black spirit, bitch. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do me like this. Yeah, you're gonna give me that Ted Ogre, bitch. You're gonna give it to me. You're gonna give it to me right now. Right, fuck, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> didn't see that one coming. And with my newfound strength, I was able to grind at even better grind places than I was able to grind at previously. But first, I needed to hit level 62, so I had to go to trees. Luckily for me, there was a, an amazing EXP event going on at the time, and I did 5-man trees, and in that weekend of the event, the first weekend, which is only like, I think I only really played like maybe 20 hours, I went from 40% of 61 all the way to 62 in that in that span of time. So that was just that was just beautiful, you know. And I got my Kaposha earring. I did make a video about the rotation I used. If you guys want to check it out, it will be uh in the in the description box <laughs> above. So now that I had my Kaposha earring, the next thing I had to do was go for some Tataru Accessoru and uh, unfortunately I didn't record it but I actually did manage to get a Tet Crescerento and uh, I was actually very lucky I got it on a 99 stack which is pretty nice I one tapped it very lucky I'm not even complaining about that at all after that I tried to go for Tet Bassy so uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll that clip of me going for uh, that Tet Basilisk hey come check out there's a snake right over there. It's a brown tree snake. These guys, Boiga, occur all through Australia and into Indonesia. They have a mild venom. They prey on birds, especially hatchlings that will live up in the trees. But these snakes are more famous for going to Guam and basically destroying the entire bird population. They were introduced during World War II on boats that run rampant. Oh, oh he might want to bite. Brown tree snakes are hyper aggressive. Their venom is not usually lethal, but with my allergy to venom, I still need to be careful. If you look at the eye, they have that vertical pupil, which indicates they come out at night. Their fang structure is very primitive, I'll show you real quick. It's a solid tooth that has a groove running down the outside, and what they do is they'll bite and get the venom to trickle down the outside of the fang and into the puncture mark, 
With male snakes, they have two penises called hemipenes, and the easiest way to identify if they're male or female is to put gentle pressure. You can actually evert them. That's called popping. There's one. Oh. Oh. Ah. He just tagged me. This isn't good. The venom that these snakes have does cause some localized swelling and inflammation. You can look at the difference in my wrists where that snake had a... All right, so the last time I was in this situation where I had a backup and I failed it and I then used my main and got lucky, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do the same thing twice. You know, I got lucky last time with the ogre. I definitely got lucky because it could have been really bad if I blew up my tri ogre there. You know, it would have been very unfortunate for me. I would have been very, I would put myself very far behind. So I wasn't going to do that again, you know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just wasn't going to do it again. I wasn't going to allow myself to fall into the temptation of putting the Bassy Belt into the Enchant thing, my main Bassy Belt, and going for the Enchant. I just wasn't going to allow it to happen. I just wasn't going to do it. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? Stupid fucking piece of shit game! I fucking hate this stupid fucking game! Fuck! Alright guys, this just in. I just found an even better grinding spot than any grinding spot in the entire game. It's actually fishing in Hydale. The reason why it's better is because you don't have to play the game. So, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, see.